What's going on guys, XFrotox95 here today. I am not bringing you gameplay, I'm actually going to be showing you a video of my player card. And as you can see, I have the nice Pikachu emblem, which I got off a YouTube video, I don't remember what it was. But yeah, it kind of looks shitty, but I don't really care. Um, yeah, so I got to 15th Prestige today, level 50. For some reason, there's no EXP bar at the bottom. So as soon as you get to level 50, you're done. You don't have to finish like level 50, you know what I mean? Like before, if you're first prestige or you haven't prestiged yet, you have to complete level 50 completely and get all the XP for it before you can prestige. Um, for 15 prestige is not the case. As soon as you're level 50, you're level 50. Can't do anything about it. Um, so my total time played is 9 days, 7 hours, 55 minutes, and 4 seconds, which is pretty good because I got to 15 prestige. Um, my total wins, uh, 13. 170 wins and losses, 1,876, and my win-loss ratio is 0.73, and my best win streak is 55. The reason for this is probably because I played a lot of Ground War my first five or six prestiges, and when you're playing Ground War, and I hated the TDM games, I just would leave the games when I found TDM because, I don't know, I just, for some reason, I was like a domination whore at that point, and I just couldn't play anything but domination and search and destroy. So I would go into ground war, and if it wasn't uh, domination, um, I would leave the game. And if it was domination, I would stay. And in ground war domination, it's pretty much impossible to by yourself solely win the game. Especially, like, because more often than not, your team is going to be full of total retards. So, and uh, I don't play with parties a lot. Um, so the f that's the, the, that 55 kill streak came from a time span when I played like three days. Uh, with my party. Three days meaning like uh, a few hours a day, you know. Um, so yeah, my kill death ratio is 2.67. I have 49,438 kills and 18,511 deaths. Uh, my accuracy is 22.97% and the reason for that is probably because I snipe a lot more than most people. And I'm actually generally more accurate than most players. Most players have like a 15% accuracy. But like my accuracy with like shotguns is like 70 something percent besides the spaz, which you have to spam. My sniper is between like 45 and 50 percent, um, and I'm generally pretty accurate with the assault rifle. With most assault rifles I have like a 22, 20 um, accuracy percent accuracy with. Um, besides like I mean like LMGs, you're not gonna have a good accuracy with just because they have so much kick on them. My uh, highest kill streak is 36. Now I've seen people with kill streaks that are like 100 and 120 and I call bullshit on that because there's no way anyone gets 120 kill streak in a game. It's, not, it's hard to get 120 kills in a game. It's very possible, especially um, in Modern Warfare 2, but in Black Ops it's very difficult to get 100 kills. I've probably done it like five times in my whole life. Like it, it's, it's pretty hard. And I, But that's probably because I mostly play Team Deathmatch and yeah. Um, so that's why my kill streak is 36. I don't really... Um, put scavenger on, so I can't really get a higher kill streak than that. And I don't camp, so I can't really get a higher kill streak than that. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't have any other way of explaining it. So yeah, my total kills. I used the FAMAS, and I got 7,209 death uh, kills. Enfield 6,824 kills. Galil 3,923. Almani 6, 3,366. And the AK 47, 2,767. And People are gonna leave in the comments like, "Oh my God, you're using like the easiest guns. You, use, you should be using like the stakeout more." And I use guns that are good. All right, there's no reason not to use these guns. You can call people noobs for using these guns. And the Enfield is not. No one uses the Enfield. It's not a super popular gun. Um, so I would say that that is a pretty good accomplishment in itself. And my kill death with the Enfield by itself, let me check is like 2.51 which is pretty good considering it's not the best gun like i said before it was a very very good gun but it was probably because i was more comfortable with it and it's just practice you can use any gun you want you can be very good with it um but it's just practice uh, for the most part and here are my most kill streaks used uh the spy plane being the most used kill streak in which i have 1779 spy planes called in and I mean, I get these spy planes, like I don't put spy plane on a lot unless I'm playing search and destroy and then it's easy to get spy planes, but um, I don't put, put spy plane on unless I'm like messing around or I'm playing like domination. If, I have, if I'm playing domination in a party, I will put on kill streaks that will pretty much strictly help my team 
those fire plane, napalm strike, and blackbird. Napalm strike I use to like cut off people so that they can't cap flags and we can cap the flags. And then my next three uh, kill streaks are blackbird with 871, chopper gunner with 596, and attack dogs with 386. So I put 8911 on all the time. And you see napalm and care package are the next ones. Um, I put those three blackbird, chopper gunner, attack dogs on all the time. Um, they're my favorite kill streak combination just because it's so easy for me to get in team deathmatch. And um, I've already talked about why I use them in previous videos. But there's just a good combination. Blackbird helps you team out Chopper Gunner. You shoot the crap out of people, and Attack Dogs help you protect your Chopper Gunner. And they're pretty good for getting rid of campers. And um, where is the page? Okay, kills with. So I have 4,783 kills with the Chopper Gunner. And if you look at how many Chopper Gunners I got, I got like 596. So let's say around 600. So that's around eight kills per Chopper Gunner. And I have 2,271 kills with the Attack Dogs and 386 called in, so that's around um, a little more than 6, it's like 6.2, 6.3 kills per attack dog. So despite the fact that attack dogs are an 11 kill streak, chopper gunner is a 9 kill streak, chopper gunner gets you uh, a pretty good amount more kills. Um, so yeah, that's my player card, I just wanted to show you guys, if you want to see anything else, um, leave a message, I can show you stuff, yeah. This is something I haven't seen from a lot of people. I use contracts all the time. If you see at the bottom, 582,900 uh, XP rewarded from contracts and 654,100 um, COD points earned. I use this for to rank up faster. It simply it helps you really, really well. And you know, percent return on investment is 757. It's probably really boring for you guys, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my player card, you know, I know I'm going to get hate because I use overpowered guns or whatever, but people are going to gravitate, no matter what game you play, people are going to gravitate towards the guns that work. There's no reason to use um, a gun that's worse unless you are more comfortable with it. Um, you know, like, if you want to use the Scorpion over FAMAS, that's your choice, but Generally, a person with the FAMAS who's half decent will destroy a person with the Scorpion. That's not saying that that's going to happen every time, but um, I'm just saying you shouldn't give people shit for, you know, the guns they use unless, well, I mean, if they're like new to me, you know, that's not really a Black Ops argument, it's more of like a Modern Warfare 2 argument because there was a lot of new to going on um, in Modern Warfare 2. So yeah, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I just wanted to post this because I some people wanted uh, to show it, and I saw a video by Xtras where he said he got to 14th prestige in like eight days and like 19 hours, and um, 14th prestige is like level one. So I think that's pretty close to uh, what he did. Um, you know, I'm not trying to show off or anything, but uh, yeah. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Please like this video. Um, and yeah, peace.